In part one of this video, we cover how we left our boat on the hard in Trinidad for a couple of months, flew to Cowes in the UK to visit friends, and then headed over to the States to visit more family and friends. We also surprised our nephew with a dream come true birthday present. Once we were back in Trinidad, we took you through all the boat jobs that were completed on Britikin while on the hard. Simon discussed a big mistake we made that we shouldn't have. And lastly, in part one we show you how an earthquake caused a swell that caused the boat next to us to hit our backstay. In this episode, part two, we finally get out of the commercial harbor to what appeared to be a quiet bay. See what it's like for Britikin to be back out on the water. Sienna describes her swimming experience. And once again we have engine failure. This time it was in the middle of the shipping channel between two land masses with a tanker heading straight for us. And of course there was no wind and it was in the middle of the night. So wanting to get away from the dirty water and the commercialism of the harbor, I stood on the deck to direct Simon around the rubbish or anything big I could see in the water so we could, you know, enjoy a, a day away from all the crappy water. It's an industrial place so there's there's everything floating in Yeah, here. it's disgusting. Yeah. Anybody leave it yeah? I don't know but I just wait and thank them for getting out of our way. So you've been in this bay already. We haven't been there. You you get to go with your friends, yeah? Yeah. Um, for two days we had a two day sleepover and it was so much fun. We were we were going swimming because then the other bay you couldn't swim because it was so dirty. So we swam here and it's really nice because we got this big huge mat out, really big. It was so much fun, but then the current started getting strong and like the rope started getting super tight and then and then like it was a real big problem because everybody started falling off and I fell back like about three feet away from the boat in like one second and it was so, it was so scary because they had to pull us in and we had to hold onto the rope and our feet were like this. We were like, we were like ah! I hate for you to sail away to Venezuela or something. <laughs> Just coming into Scotland Bay in Trinidad and Tobago, and uh, thanks, Sienna. <laughs> and this is the first time we've been back on the water since uh, the boat was on the hard. We're just motoring around the around the corner. We had a massive swell this morning, which we actually now think it was caused by an earthquake. But uh, we got out of that area, and uh, we're going to take a break and just go swimming. We're just looking for the perfect spot to anchor here. There's Rando over there, our friends, which are anchoring also now. Our news reporter, Kim, and action! So every time we anchor, before I drop the anchor, I always check the fittings to make sure they're all nice and tight. news reporter Simon Brown everybody <laughs> round of applause yay yeah we're in 11 feet but you're gonna come up on a bank here shortly and it'll, it'll get shallow we're just trying to move back see if the anchors hold looks stuck okay pull back pull back Okay, we'll radio to them and we'll tell them that you guys are on your way back. And say, be aware. Be aware that you guys might be floating to Venezuela. So today's job that Simon's working on is to put our table back together. I thought I'd do a before shot. These are the arms that come out below the table to hold it open. 
the next shot will be it all finished. Sienna's over on Rondo. She's uh, playing with Caitlin, who lives on Rondo, but there's another boy, Keanu, who's from the boat, uh, Wasabi. And that boat is back around the corner. So all the kids are on Rondo. And it's a nice way to spend your day in this beautiful harbor here. It's a lot better than um, the main harbor, the commercial port. The table is on! So Sime did a great job. And now he just jumped in the water. And uh, he's swimming over to Rondo to go play King of the Mat and show them uh, who's king. What's that around your neck? Oh, it's one of those... This fills up with the polymer things or whatever they're called. So it's all fills up with water and expands and then as it cools it keeps you dry. <laughs> it's not too bad, it works really well. Actually. It means it keeps you cool. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> yes, it keeps you cool. Alright, well come up here and get, get cooled up. Yeah. So it's a bit of a party area here. So Rando's over there. And there's a few party boats there. And there's a couple party boats behind me. So I can't even hear myself think. There's a party, party boat pretty much on every corner of this bay and they're all playing different music, which is quite funny. <laughs> and they're jam-packed, like nobody has a seat. They're all standing right up. It's crazy. The kids said the music is so loud they can't hear each other speak. With our air on and the generator, we can't hear the loud music. The, so the music got to the point where we just couldn't stand it anymore and one of the boats was just kept following Rondo. Rondo tried to move and they kept following him around. So Rondo called us up and said, hey guys, if you want to stay in the harbor, stay, but we're going back. Uh, we can't handle it. So we were like, yeah, we'll come back with you too. The only issue was we left it quite late so it started to get dark out and uh, we headed back in the dark. Okay. So once again, we're, um, we just, and something's blown on the engine. The water came in. Um, it, that's the village. It's pouring out. Something hit, must have gone on the engine. So we're just floating. We're kind of close to an island. Um, we've got Rondo is going to come back. Maybe we could tie up to them or something. I think this is pretty serious. We need to get somewhere where we can anchor. Like we've done it in the past, it's uh, it's the engine. Um, and we love our engine and everything, but it has just been serviced. And uh, the first thing you do is you turn the engine off. But right now we're sailing, well, we're not sailing, we're just sitting here, so. So before Rondo could get back to help us, I noticed that there was a, a big ship coming through the channel, so I radioed them and tell them our situation. Yeah, they were real good. They said, we see you and we'll make sure to avoid you. Yes, thank you. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Rando's come to help us, thank God. This one needs to go into the middle, please. We're right in the middle of the channel here, and so we're just drifting, and Rando's going to hopefully be able to pull us along. So once we were under tow, I informed the cruiser's net that of our situation, that we were getting towed and a few of them got back to us and wished us luck and said if we needed help they would come and help us, which was great. A friend of ours on Rondo the Catamaran, so just be aware that we're going to try and find uh, more and more. We're just coming in past, we're past the little island, past the dry dock. Okay, we're still being towed. Oh man, it's hotter than heck. So there's definitely coolant all over the place. I'm going to get a flashlight and see if I can find what hose blew. Uh, okay, just look down here. Oh, I need my flashlight. Okay, so right there. Okay, you can see it. This is blown off. So... It doesn't look like anything's broken. Whoa! Look at it, it's full of barnacles. Okay, well that's definitely a problem. Doing good, take it nice and easy. What? I said you're doing good. Okay, good. We're done, Mike. to your 
That's good. Okay, you're almost on top of it. Mikey's got the hook in. So they're releasing theirs, and we have one line onto a mooring ball. Can you see the whole entire pipe is just blown off? And look inside that little heat exchanger, whatever it is, it's full of barnacles. Do you know, have you seen that before? Hey. Have you seen that before? Do you know what it is? Okay, that, I don't know if you remember a couple of months ago, this split and poured water all over, poured it all the way over here and just damaged our electrics. Now it's popped off and what's happened is there's barnacles in there have blocked it all off and it's pushed off. So what happened last night was this pushed off, seawater came out and wasn't going into the heat exchanger and it looks like boiled our coolant but luckily we caught it i was watching the heat temperature saw it go up slightly and then we switched the engine off so we don't think there's any damage done it's just a little bit dirty and a little bit seawater everywhere okay so the heat exchanger the small one for our transmission had got blocked and we so we had to take it off clean it all out and reattach it Put it back in and then it worked great after that okay that's it for this episode please follow us and subscribe to us and give us a thumbs up yeah thank you bye, bye. we are now offering week-long liveaboard experiences on Britican, which involves either singles or couples or couples with kids to come on and live with us for a week and experience what it's like actually to be a liverboard on a boat. So it will be like what we do to maintain the boat, what sails we use, how do we reef, what it's like to sail at night, what it's like to check into a different country. And it could even be what it's like to sail for two days in a row nonstop. Yep. Remember to visit sailingbritican.com to find out more about our sailing guides, Britican Club, and learn about our week-long Britican liveaboard sailing experience offering.